directly in the list, but I'm in every single anthology, including the Mexican American English literature uh, books, and one of the, and and the uh, uh, R. Delgado uh, books on um, uh, race and uh, uh, civil society. And this is a poem that's in almost all of those anthologies. My most anthologized poem, and I always dedicate it to my high school teacher, who when I asked me what my educational goals were, I said, I want to go to college. And she said, what level? I said, university. She said, oh, what do you want to be? I said, I want to be a university professor. And she just about swallowed her tongue, and immediately she said, I think you're setting your goals too high. You will only fail. You are not college material. This was the same high school counselor who told my boyfriend when he came to the high school, don't expect anything from this high school because it's 78% Mexican. These stories are still going on today. We need this literature in these schools today. <laughs> Poem for the young white man who asked me how I, an intelligent, well-read person, could believe in the war between races. In my land, there are no distinctions. The barbed wire politics of oppression have been torn down long ago. And the only reminder of past battles lost or won is a slight rutting in the fertile fields. In my land, People write poems about love, full of nothing but contented, childlike syllables. Everyone reads Russian short stories and weeps. There are no borders. There is no hunger, no complicated famine or greed. I am not a revolutionary. I don't even like political poems. Do you think I can believe in a war between the races? I can deny it. I can forget about it. Whenever I'm safe living on my own continent of harmony and home. But I am not there. I believe in revolution because everywhere the crosses are burning. Sharp shooting goose steppers round every corner and there are snipers in the schools. And I know you don't believe this. You think this is nothing but faddish exaggeration. But they are not shooting at you. I'm marked by the color of my skin. The bullets are discreet and designed to kill slowly. They are aiming at my children, and these are facts. Let me show you my wounds, my stumbling mind, my excuse me tongue, and this nagging preoccupation with the feeling of not being good enough. These bullets bury deeper than logic. Racism is not intellectual. I cannot reason these scars away. Outside my door, there is a real enemy who hates me. And I am a poet who yearns to dance on rooftops, to whisper delicate lines about joy and the blessings of human understanding. And I try. I go to my land, my tower of words, and bolt the door. But the typewriter doesn't fade out. The sounds of the blasting, the screams, the muffled outrage, my own days bring me slaps on the face. Every day I am deluged with reminders that this is not my land. And this is my land.
They tried to take our words, steal away our hearts under their imaginary shawls, their laws, their libros, their libranos señores, no more. They tried to take away our spirit in the rock, the mountain, the living waters. They tried to steal our languages, our grandmother's packs, our magma cartas for their own serfs. They raised the land and raised a constitution, declared others three-fifths a human being, snapped shackles, cut off a foot, raped our grandmothers into near-mute oblivion. They burned the sacred codices, and the molten goddesses rose anew in their flames. They tried to silence a nation, tried to send the people back to the four corners of the world, they drew a line in the sand and dared us to cross it. Tried to peel off our skins, shipitotek screaming through our indigenous consciousness. They tried to brand America into our unread flesh, the skull and crossbones flying at half-mast. They tried to put their eggs in our baskets, tried to weave the native out of us with their drink and drugs, tried to switch their mammy-raised offspring, beaded and unshaven as the colorless pea under our mattresses in a cultural bait-and-switch, hook-and-bait. They tried to take our words Give us the Spanish translation for pain. Serve us the host of fallow fields on a china plate. Stripped us of the germ and seed. Fed us in a steady diet of disease and famine. Where is the word for tomorrow to the dead? When is our kingdom come? They claim our reclamations, our reparations, a thing of our imaginations. I discover this truth to be self-evident. In the beginning, we were here. I declare us here today and speaking. Lorna Di Cervantes, banned in Arizona.